From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Thursday's top stories. While local forecasters get ready to track what could become Tropical Storm Elsa, police get another murder investigation. Another shooting incident here in the Capitol. A man found dead behind the wheel of his still-running car on Lion Road, identified by relatives as 40-year-old Marvin Roll. Police now working that on several other murder cases from the past week. The weather system is east of the Lesser Antilles now and it's getting its act together. Forecast is expected to become Elsa by the weekend. It's heading in this general direction. The current track has it passing to the south of us, but it will still need attention. It took a Supreme Court jury less than two hours to find Defense Force Officer Jervon Seymour not guilty of all the charges related to the 2019 government house shooting incident. The coronavirus hasn't gone away. The Ministry of Health reporting another 74 cases for Tuesday. 59 of them in the capital. Grand Bahama, Abaco, Bimini, and Eleuthero also reporting cases. 41 persons are now in hospital. No other deaths have been reported. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. There's no indication yet that the very aggressive Delta variant is in the Bahamas, but there are more warnings about that. Pan American Health Organization now cautioning against travel to countries where that variant has been found. The appeals court gives the government permission to appeal its recent citizenship ruling to the Privy Council. Police completing their investigations into two recent murders. 19-year-old Lovato Dean charged with a June 20th murder here in the capital in the Chippingham area. And 28-year-old Leonardo Colley charged with a double murder that goes back to May this year. No resolution of that Cabbage Beach access dispute yet. But Tourism Minister D'Angelo told the media they're working on something. The government has to act assertively. I mean, if they refuse to do anything, the only option then left to the government is to exercise its right of imminent domain and to secure that property. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management, an upper level low in the area, generating some unsettled weather, partly cloudy, showers in the area again today, highs in the upper 80s, 86 at Freeport, 88 in the capital, 87 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet, low tide now, the next high around 2 this afternoon. Mostly cloudy skies tonight, lows from the upper 70s to low 80s, some showers could still be around. Forecast is now tracking what could become Tropical Storm Elsa in time. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. We are now in the hurricane season. Insurance Management urges you to complete your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and, of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Thursday's World News headlines the death toll in the Florida condo collapse is now 18. The bodies of two children, the latest to be found by rescue workers, still more than 100 persons not accounted for, and hope is fading that anyone will be found alive in that debris. Record heat continues in the western U.S. and Canada. Temperatures in the triple digits in most areas. 36 deaths in the U.S. state of Oregon have been blamed on the excessive heat. China's President Xi warning countries against trying to influence China. In a speech marking the 100th anniversary of the Communist Party, the president said countries will crack their heads and spill blood if they come after China. Comedian Bill Cosby has been freed of his sexual assault conviction by the Supreme Court in Pennsylvania. Tribune's gas tracker prices for Thursday shell 509, SO 507, Rubis $5.01 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Good start for our Davis Cup team in Panama. Find out what they did. DeAndre Ayton and the Suns in the NBA Finals. Find out what he did in the clinching game last night 
against the Clippers. The latest on Jazz and the Marlins and Major League Baseball. They got a win over the Phillies last night. Updates on the Olympics, the Tour de France, Wimbledon, and that European soccer tournament, all in the Tribune Sports Thursday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper, on the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.